There is no good design, dress by Banana Republic on Meghan insulted by reviewers when Meghan Markle showed up to the 2023 Invictus Games, there was drinking and mocking. The fashion police have criticized her for appearing in outfits that appear to be in desperate need of an ironing. On the fourth day of the game tournament, Meghan spoke at a gathering as she joined Prince Harry in Dusseldorf, Germany. Michael chose a black midi shirt dress from Banana Republic with elbow-length sleeves and an A-line skirt that was crumpled. With a belt from an antique shop and a pair of black Aquazura stiletto shoes, she alum finished off her look. She chose to wear a dress from Banana Republic, a clothing company with a questionable name taken from a controversial novel by author O. Henry, and Michael enjoyed the significant response she received online. Meanwhile, other individuals criticized her for the outfit's shoddy 70s appearance. Although it's a lovely outfit, she doesn't know how to dress for her physique, thus things will constantly look odd. One Reddit user wrote, who would want another ill-fitting, crumpled design? This is every designer's worst nightmare. One person commented on how well-matched the two of them are. A third set of Harry and Meghan, wrinkled, sloppy, bitter, and thirsty, speculated about the choice of Meghan's outfit from Banana Republic. According to one, it was a nice compliment to H.G. Tudor for his ongoing adoration of his status as a bananatarian. One more spoke out, recalling how motivated the sex workers were as a result of her words on the bananas. A kind nod was given to them. Banana was unhappy about the criticism it received from the fashion industry. According to rumors, Meghan won't be allowed to wear Republic clothing anymore due to the CEO's worries about the damage Meghan's look and attire would do to the company's reputation. The fashionistas went looking for Meghan's wrinkled skirt hems, weird fold lines and crumpled shirts collection and held them up like awful exhibits before a gas jury. When Meghan visited the Smart Works facility at St. Charles S. Hospital in North Kensington, she was seen wearing a wrinkled outfit. Apparently, Meghan's £2,600 Oscar de la Renta coat was tainted by a heavy crease before the engagement had even begun. These fashionable sophisticates in higher places have accused Meghan of believing that her wrinkles are a fashion statement and that someday people will see them as her brand. Behind the Givenchy suit Meghan wore to a wedding, according to these devoted fashionistas, even looked like it needed a good steaming. However, Meghan's ragged appearance is caused by her lack of ironing skills and the fabric she chose. The creative director of Mulberry, Scott Henschel, allegedly claimed that it's nearly hard to arrive at your location for any royal event looking smart and polished if all you're wearing are easily wrinkled garments. Henschel then suggests that, to add insult to injury, Meghan may decide to follow Catherine the Princess of Wales's lead and wear to remember the best wrinkle-free materials in the future the Duchess, or someone else only has to become familiar with them. In general, synthetic fabrics like polyester, nylon, acrylic, and olefin have a stronger natural stability and resistance to creases since they don't absorb water as well. Even textiles like silk, rayon, and cotton that do have a tendency to wrinkle are considerably less likely to do so when combined with other fibers. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,